In this video, we're focusing on themes, one of the most powerful features to help streamline your workflow and maintain consistency across your presentations. Themes allow you to create and apply consistent styling to your slides with just a few clicks. Whether you need to format an individual slide, several slides, or an entire presentation, themes can drastically reduce your preparation time. So what exactly are themes? Themes are style templates that contain formatting information like text properties, backgrounds, shapes, and even media actions. Think of them as pre-designed layouts that can be instantly applied to give your presentations a professional and cohesive look. Let's start by accessing the theme editor. You have three ways to get there. Click the more button in the toolbar and then select theme editor. Click the theme button in the toolbar. Then either select the plus icon to create a new theme or choose an existing theme and click the pen icon to edit it. Or right click any slide, hover your cursor over theme and select new theme at the bottom of the list. When you open the theme editor, you'll notice it has four main sections. On the left side, you'll see the slide navigator displaying all the theme slides within your current theme. You can select different themes from the drop down at the top and use the plus button to add new theme slides. Below that is the object list, which shows every element on your theme slide as well as how they are layered. The center area shows the canvas, which is where you'll design your theme elements. Anything placed on the canvas will be applied to your slides when you use the theme. On the right side is the inspector panel, which changes based on what you have selected. If nothing is selected, it shows properties for the theme slide itself, like size and background color. Now, let's create a theme together. For this exercise, we'll do a sermon series theme with different layouts for the main message graphic, lyrics, sermon, and scripture. Start by selecting your canvas size in the inspector panel. This should match your output resolution. For the first one, I'm going to remove the text box. Next, we'll set a background color or add an image to establish your base design. In this case, let's use a sermon series graphic from Pro Content. Go to the media icon and select your graphic. We'll label this one title slide under the theme slide inspector on the right. Just a note, we'll show you how this can be applied to slides in a moment. But first, let's continue designing our theme slides. Next one will be for lyrics. And while I like the background of the series graphic, it may not work for the other media in my service. So we'll format the lyrics theme with the same typeface as the series graphic, but remove the background and change the font color to white. Hit the plus sign on the left to add a new theme slide and then select the text box. This theme uses the Go Bold font. So I'll pick that from the font dropdown and set capitalization to all caps. I'm not sure what size the font should be, but I want two lines of text. So I'll put line one text and line two text in the theme layout. Now I'll resize the text box so it's centered into the middle third of the slide area. The alignment guides are a great help. I'll set the font size to 100 and under the gear icon, I'll set the line height a bit wider. Depending on the amount of words in a given slide, the text box may not fit them all at that font size. So I'm gonna go down to scaling and set it to text down. That means it will display the text at 100 points unless there's not enough room. Then it will scale the font size down to fit everything. I don't think I need to add any other formatting here, so we'll call this one series lyrics. Next up, sermon layout. We'll do this one with a title text box and the background from the title slide and a text box with bullet points. For this one, I'm going to add a media action, which is under the theme slide section of the inspector. This places the media behind your text box automatically. Now, add a text box, find your font, set it to 150, then resize it and move it to the top of the slide for your title box. This series uses a unique color on the title slide, so I'll need to adjust the color of my font to match it. Click the color wheel, and use the dropper to sample the color from the title slide for this text. Then, drag it into an empty spot so you can find it easily for the rest of these layouts. Now, add a second box, but for this one, we'll add bullet points. Set your font, size, and color, then click the list button. You should also change the alignment from center to left justified. I'll add a couple of lines of text to show the bullet and line spacing. For font size, let's set it to 80 with the same scaling option. 
I personally don't like how far the bullet is from the text on these lines. So I'm going to lower the text indent. Okay, now I'll resize my text box so it doesn't overlap with my title. And we'll label this one Sermon Points. The last one will be a lower third theme and we'll format it for scripture. Just a note, we'll also be utilizing this as an alternate theme for live stream later in the video. Add a new theme slide, click on the shape button, choose rectangle, and then resize and move it to your desired location. While that box is selected, go to the shape tab on the right and change the fill from color to media. Select your slide graphic again and select scale to fill. This will provide a background for your text. The theme already has a text box, so let's go ahead and change the typeface, color, and scaling, and place it on our shape. It appears my text box is behind my graphic here, so I'll go over to the objects list on the bottom left and drag the text box to the top. With this smaller text, I think a shadow may help make it easier to see against this background. Check the box next to shadow and adjust it to your liking. Since I've already done the hard work, I'll just copy and paste this text box to make one for my reference. Then I'll make it slightly smaller and place it below the other box. And we'll label this one Bible. Now that you've created a theme, let's look at the different ways to apply it. To apply a theme to an entire presentation, in your library, single click on a presentation to select it. Click the theme button in the toolbar and select your theme and theme slide. All slides in the presentation will adopt the formatting from your theme. To apply a theme to individual slides, right click on a slide or select multiple slides in your presentation. Hover over theme in the context menu. Select your desired theme and theme slide from the list. Only the selected slides will be updated with the theme. For Bible verses, go to Bible view, then click options in the top right corner. Under slide options, choose your theme and slide from the drop down menu, and then select which text elements will display the verse and reference in the drop downs. Lastly, we'll cover alternate themes for the looks window. This can be used to format your slide text in lower thirds on your live stream, for example. Go to screens, edit looks from the menu bar. In the looks editor, you can assign alternate themes to different outputs by clicking on the button in the presentation row and selecting your desired theme and layout. This will then be applied to slide text for that specific output, giving you a custom layout that can be triggered in tandem with your in-house slides. In regards to managing your themes, you can delete a theme by clicking the theme button in the toolbar, then right clicking on the theme you wanna remove and select delete theme. If you're looking to expand your theme library without designing everything from scratch, Pro Content is your go-to resource. Pro Content offers a vast collection of professionally designed themes that can be downloaded with just a few clicks. As you can see, Pro Content features a wide variety of themes for different occasions and styles, from clean and minimal designs to vibrant and colorful options. There are themes specifically created for worship services, sermon series, announcements, countdown timers, and even special events. These ready-to-use themes can save you hours of design work while giving your presentation a polished and professional look. Simply browse through the available options, download the ones you like, and apply them to your presentations. Themes are an incredibly powerful way to maintain your consistency across your presentations while saving you significant preparation time. By using well-designed themes, you can focus more on content and less on formatting during your time-sensitive preparation. Thanks for watching.